Hello and welcome to this uh, little video introducing you to my lightboard setup. Uh, so this is a setup that I, uh, I started working on over the summer just as a garage project. I built this lightboard, which I'll show you from the other side in a second. And uh, it took me a little while to get it set up, but this semester, which is the winter semester uh, 2021, it's February or March 2021 now. Um, uh, so I'm teaching pandemic mode uh, using the lightboard. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, switch over and I'll give you a different view of this and give you a little walkthrough of the whole setup. So here, this is my office. Um, I'm coming in now two days a week. We're at uh, low capacity in my department um, and not many people are coming in. So I'm one of the few people that come in at all. And I come in Monday and Wednesday for my lectures, which I'm using the light board to do. So let me just give you a quick tour of the setup. So here I have a webcam out there on the tripod with a, bl a black uh, sheet behind it just to reduce glare and reflection off the light board, which is here. So a light board is um, essentially, here it's plexiglass. I, I probably should have used glass and you can see the smudging and scratching that's um, sort of typical of plexiglass, but it's not too bad. Um, and I, so I built the frame last summer and brought it in and finally got it all set up. So there's another black sheet on the back wall behind it and that's to keep the lighting um, you know uh, good for for the lectures that I'm doing um, and so what you see here is the other side of it I have a um, an external mic set up there and I have my computer with an external monitor and I'm running OBS and that's a program open broadcast system that's actually originally a gaming software for recording and streaming but I'm using it for uh, for lectures it's really uh, a great program um, and so uh, what you can see there is that's what I, I share that window uh, over Zoom and my students watch that and take notes and ask me questions over chat or over voice. Um, so what's going on with the light board itself, um, the plexiglass is embedded in a groove here and you can see there's a bit of a glow there and I can crank it up a little bit more so you can see better. So that's, oh, that's down, that's brighter. So that light gets pumped into the plexiglass and it stays in there by total internal reflection but if it hits any of the writing that I've put on it um, from the inside it actually lights it up that's like a neon marker there and so uh, with the back black backdrop the writing comes out pretty clearly so let me just turn off the overhead light and uh, I have side lights I can keep it dark like this but I prefer to put on just a little bit of lighting here and I can actually leave the window open, which I'm surprised by, um, but that works okay, even with it uh, open or closed. And so let me switch over. I'll start recording in OBS, and I'll turn off the phone, so we'll switch views here in a second. And so here's a recording. So now I'm recording that um, what's being broadcast to this window here, and I'll switch over to it. So let me just uh, show you what it looks like when you write or whatever on the board here. Uh, so I'll just get a scribble down and maybe we can do an equation here. So that is the neon marker and this is what it looks like without any illumination. That's just catching light from the window. Um, but when I put on the LEDs inside it brightens up quite a bit. And then um, because I have a shiny head, I'm wearing today, just to try it out, I'm wearing a, a, my, one of my ski uh, undershirts, which has turns me into a floating face instead of a floating head. And I can go even further and disappear completely here, just hands. Or I can turn off the lights and just become a very faint background. But because of the illumination inside the glass, you can still see the writing quite well. So that is the way I am teaching, or at least the lecture part of teaching uh, during this pandemic. And I hope you find it interesting and um, maybe useful if you're interested. And if you want, I can uh, post some instructions on how to build a light board, but I, I don't know if I'm actually enough of an expert on that to justify giving anybody else instructions, but not too hard to figure out if you have a little bit of experience in a shop. Okay, that's, that's my tour. Take care. <laughs>